Carl from Salford Projects and we're here on Birmingham's canals to witness autumn as its finest. The leaves started falling off the trees and the weather's getting a little bit colder getting ready for winter. For a chef that means that we're getting ready for massive flavours in our cooking. So instead of having the warm weather and light dishes in the summer, we're having more robust flavours with a colder season. So we're going to go back now to Soul Food HQ and get cooking some autumn dishes. So I've decided to make a cobbler, which is an American autumn dish, using uh, fresh plums. I'm going to use a, a buttermilk batter to give a crumbled effect. Instead of a crumble, it's going to be almost like a scone batter on top of the cobbler. So straight into it, just cut the butter, weigh all your other ingredients, grab your plums, uh, make sure you give them a wash before you use them. Nice tip to get the stone out of your plums, you cut them down the centre, go all the way around 360. Twist the plum in your palm of your hand and the stone will just pop out with your thumb. So once we've got cinnamon, we've got a nutmeg, plums, added a, just a tiny bit of balsamic vinegar, this cuts through the sweetness of your sugar and helps blend the, helps bring out the tartness of the plums. All we've got left to do is now is add a little bit of sugar on top. When adding sugar at this stage, it's not about weighing or measuring, it's more about how sweet you like your plums in your cobbler. Do remember that there is sugar and ginger biscuits in your topping. You don't want to over sweeten your cobbler. Then simply place them into a preheated oven at 180 degrees. So I'd leave them in there for about 10 to 15 minutes, give them a little prod, and if they mush a little bit squeezy, then they're all ready. Next we're going to work on the topping. In a bowl, place your flour, cinnamon and nutmeg. I always use cold butter when you're making pastry. Pastry is just butter, flour, eggs, water, depending on what style of pastry you are making. We want to keep it the same consistency throughout. Using cold butter straight from the fridge and using your fingertips instead of your whole hands. This will prevent the oils from coming out of the butter and give you a nice smoother and better pastry. Your cobbler topping should look like a beige paste. Once that's ready, add your oats, your sugar and your egg. When I first made the cobbler, I was really scared that it was going to stick together, um, it wasn't going to come together as flavours. I thought using yoghurt might put the taste off, but it really works. It comes together as a nice autumn dish. Adding ginger nuts here is my own twist. You can add whatever you want, but don't overcomplicate things. Just choose one thing that you really, really like. Mmm. You can really get the cinnamon and the balsamic coming through the sharpness of the plums. And that's what we want them to, the balsamic to do. We don't want it to be a flavour, we just want it to balance out others. Now on top we're going to put our cobbler mix, which we made earlier. Here we've got our eggs, self-raising flour, some yoghurt, sugar, butter, porridge oats, cinnamon nutmeg and ginger biscuits for a little cheeky English twist. We want one for each person, so we should get a good healthy eight balls out of this. The cobble gets its unique name from these balls individually put on for each serving and I can imagine the first time as a child seeing this comes out the oven steaming, smelling the cinnamon and the beautiful fruits in there that people often got it mixed up with a, with a cobbled street. So we're going to put this back in the oven, I've turned the heat down just a little bit from 108 to 150 and we're going to leave it for 25 to 30 minutes. Now it's ready, take it out and you can see the individual cobbles from the dish. Each cobble represents one portion, but as we've been working all day, we're going to double up. I find cobbler and ice cream are a dream together. Grab some of your favourite ice cream, throw it on and let it melt away.
Thank <laughs> you.